Welcome to QQ Catalyst. This video is an overview of how to create and edit letter templates. By default, when you enter the templates library, you will see all templates. However, you can view and search by the standard library or by the agency library. To create a template, on the dark gray toolbar, we are going to select Add New Template. Next, you will need to select a layout. For today's class, I'm going to select Blank. Within the Template Builder, you have a workflow. You can navigate through the workflow by selecting the tabs at the top, the page arrows, or the Previous and Next button at the bottom of the page. Right below the workflow, you will find the template category as well as the template data sources. In order to create a template, you will need to select from the template category and data sources. Category is used to determine who this template or letter is going to target. The data sources change based on the category that you have selected. Customer, Carrier, MGA, Employees, Prospects, and Finance Companies. Data sources will determine which columns will be available to create the merge fields within the letter. I'm going to select Customer Information and Policy Information. After you've selected the data sources, you can then move on to the next tab, which is Edit Template. Within this section, you'll be able to create your letter template. In the editor, you can enter any text you wish. You can also use the editor's formatting options to select a font, font size, or color. When you're creating your own template, you have the ability to insert merge fields. Merge fields are placeholders that will pre-populate information once you send out the letter. To insert merge fields, select the Insert Items tab on the left-hand side of the screen. This will open the Insert Items menu. The Insert Items menu is divided into three sections. Fields, Images, and System. You can use the scroll bar to navigate through or use the search box to enter a keyword to narrow your search. I will use the keyword name. You will see the system pulled all merge fields available using that keyword. In my template, I want to address my customer by name, so I will insert the customer first name and customer last name by using my mouse to click on the field. If I wanted to remove a merge field from my template, I can go ahead and use my backspace button to delete it. The Images tab allows you to insert images from your images library into your template. In order to add an image, click the image to place into your template. If you need to adjust the image size, you can do so by double clicking the image to open the image properties. You can then adjust the width and the height of the image here. Select OK to save your changes. The System tab has additional merge fields available for you to use. We have placeholders for your logo and for your signature. The placeholder will merge your logo and signature that is entered into the location preferences. For your logo, either the high resolution or low resolution logo will be merged depending on your letter output, either print or email. Items under the current employee will merge the fields based on the user that is using or sending the letter. Once you've completed your letter template, select the next button on the bottom right hand corner. This will bring you to the Save Template tab. In the Name field, you can name your template. In the Description field, you can enter any descriptions that are necessary. The Types section is the category where your template will be saved in your agency library. You can select one or multiple. Lastly, select the location or locations that you would like to have access the, to the template. Then, select Save on the bottom right-hand corner to complete the save of your template. After you've created a template, you can edit the template if you need to make any changes. To edit your template, 
you need to hover over the template name and click your left mouse button to display the drop-down menu. Select Edit to enter the template workflow and make any necessary changes. You can also duplicate a template by selecting the Duplicate option. You can also delete the template that you've created by selecting Delete. You'll receive a warning message to confirm that you want to delete your template. Once you select Yes, this action cannot be undone.